Now we are at the start point of our workshop. Before we enter into the workshop, let us see the visit routine. You see here, this is the flow plan of Maximo factory. We will visit our factory according to that blue line and stay one by one. First from the fabrication workshop and then to the end of the delivery platform. So let's go. In this workshop, you will see material cutting, uh, machining, welding, painting, and also master assembly. So let's see the step by step. Here you see there are a lot of real materials. Uh, they are steel plate, steel channel, and steel rod. All of these materials are for heavy duty trucks, and they're all from uh, top many Chinese manufacturers. And also for the rich truck, the, t the master steel are from Germany Tyson Crab. All of those materials will be cut cutted over there by plasma cutting machine and also laser cutting machine. And uh, the thick plate will be cutted by those uh, la plasma cutting machine and the thin plate will be cutted by the laser cutting machine. After the cutting, those parts will be cleaned and then machined at this site. You can see there are many equipment at this site and the parts will be banded, drilled, machined and punched at this site. You may see that those equipment maybe looks a little bit old but they all work in good condition and they can machine the parts quite well to meet our design requirements. You can see all the parts on the ground are placed tidy and uh, orderly. This is all to in compliance with the 6S management of our factory. Here is the cutting well, robot arm to cut the material for the mask. Here is the machining center to machine those parts which have higher or more precise requirements. And also you can see those people in red clothes, they are our QC engineers. We have our QC people, they always to inspect the parts during the process. So we can find and solve the problem during the process. Here's the, the laser cutting machine. This laser cutting machine was brought in last year. It could cut the plate from 1.2 mm to 12 mm. It has more accuracy and also, most importantly, it will speed up the cutting process and save the machining time later. All of the parts after cutting and machining, they will be sent to that welding area. Later we will see the welding area. Here is our welding area. We have two welding lines. And for those thick parts like chassis, mast, fork carriage, and the oil tank are all welded by welding robot machine. For example, here is one of the welding robot machine to welding is welding the mast. It has high efficiency and also the welding quality is very stable and uh, smooth. And also for those small parts. We weld it manually. Here you can see some samples for the welding. All of the welding parts should be done like this.
And here is our fixtures for chassis and mast. You can see there are two, they are different. One is old, one is new. This one is all controlled manually. So for each chassis, the size, design, or control all depends on the worker's experience and feeling. As we know, the feeling and experience are the hardest thing to express and control. So it is hard to, con to make sure that each size has the same size. So it's a little bit difficult to control the quality consistency. But for this new fixture, it is electronically controlled. We input, input all of the status into the system. So each size will have the same size and then it is very good to keep the quality consistent and reliable. And we have invested more than 300,000 US dollars for new fixtures like this, which have made a very great contribution to the quality stable and consistent of our forklift farm. After the welding, all of the parts were sent to that area for the painting. This is it, our painting line. Our painting line is, right now is two shifts because we have to meet our uh, busy production requirements. All of the parts will hang on this chain system and then start from step to step to the end of the painting. The whole process including eight steps. You can see we have the painting process here. So first is the sandblasting to remove the rust and then the primary painting, baking, party and the baking and polish and then the second painting and the finish painting. So it has three layers of painting which makes the painting very beautiful and reliable. And all of the paints Painting we use a 100% water painting, which is eco-friendly and also good for the health for our operators. And currently we have four colors as standard you can choose. One is red, and another is yellow, and another is uh, maximum green, and the last one is orange red. And for other special colors, you can consult with our sales managers. And this area is our new mast assembly line, which was established last year. It is the DFT system mast assembly line. You can see all of the parts of the mast are put on a, a shelf. It is an electronically controlled shelf. So they can just move all the parts by the electronic devices. They do not need to lift the parts by the hoist equipment again and again. And also you can see they can work on the parts just uh, stand at a standing position very comfortably. They don't need to work on the parts and uh, always bend down to work on the parts before. It will reduce the operator's fatigue very much. And more importantly, it has increased the production efficiency much more than before. You can see the whole area is very tidy and clean. Here you can see there is a comparison. This is before, this is after. So before we put all of the parts on the ground. And, and so, so it is very uh, hard, you know. They need to leave the parts every time they, need to, uh, they want to in assemble another part. So it is not tidy and this is very clean and tidy and also low efficiency, this is high efficiency. You can see we have four colors, yellow, yellow, red, maximum green, and the orange red uh, at that place. Okay, let's go to see, continue the
for all of the standard masks, we all assembled on this new assembly line. But for some special requirement masks, especially heavy duty masks, we still need to work uh, on it by the old way. You can see here, this is the area for some special requirement mask. They still work on the old way. You can see all of the parts is on the ground. So you always need to lift the parts again and again. So all of the mask after assembled, they're put here and later we are transferred to the assembled area of the whole truck. Here is uh, the warehouse of our cylinders. Our cylinders are all from our long-time cooperated suppliers. Very reliable and uh, quality is also stable. Here is the place where we will do the pre-assembly for the chassis. After the painting, we will do some simple assembly of the electric wires of the chassis. You can see, and also some hydraulic hoses. And after pre-assembly, the chassis will be lifted here and transport to the assembly line to the next workshops. Here it is the workshop for heavy duty trucks. In this workshop, we will assemble the heavy duty trucks from 30.5 to 32 tons. And also for the port equipment, port equipment like rich stackers and empty containers. And for those uh, big equipment, most of the key parts are originally imported, such as the transmission, for example, from Dyna or ZF transmission. And the driving axle are from Kessler uh, from Germany. And also for the engines, we have Volvo or Cummins. And for the rich stackers, the spreader is from uh, Sweden, Elme. And also the same for the empty container, the spreader also from Elme. And of course, we also have the maximal self designed spreader for the rich stacker. The rich stacker capacity ranges from 38 ton to 45 ton. The empty container capacity is 9 ton. At my left side, it is our outdoor testing area. We will test each forklift truck at this area once it is finished the assembly. We will test the loading, the unloading, and the gradability, and the traveling here, just like you use your forklift truck in your warehouse or your company yard. You can see also for the heavy duty trucks, uh, rich stackers, they're also tested here. There are many uh, cont containers here. It is for the testing for the uh, rich stacker and the empty container handler. And also, we have an independent C compliance test team. In China, only Maximo Hype has this kind of team. We will test each model of the forklift if it is 
exported to Europe to make sure this forklift is fully in compliance with the C requirement.